Greetings to you, my dear good friends. We have come again this Sunday, the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. And the Holy Mother Church presents to us these readings. The first reading is taken from the prophecy of Jeremiah chapter 31, from verse 7 to 9. The responsorial psalm comes from Psalm 126. And the second reading comes from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 5, from verse 1 to 6. And the Holy Gospel comes from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, from verse 46 to 52. My dear friends, I want to centralize my reflection on the Gospel. In today's Gospel, we hear some things like, Have mercy on me. What do you want me to do for you that I might see again? Which means he has been seen before and later lost his sight. But the reason for this loss of sight was not written in the gospel that we have this Sunday. Your faith has made you whole. Go in peace. These are, these are silent points in the readings of today. And it occurred to me while I was reflecting that we have two major forms of blindness. One is physical blindness, which we see in the situation of blind Bartimaeus. We have also spiritual blindness which many suffer in our world today without knowing when somebody has loss of sight physical sight it is easily identified by people and also it is easily identified by the person who is suffering from the blindness because without these physical eyes nobody can see freely and walk freely when we need an aid, a help of a person or another thing. The eyes are very important. If the eyes are not okay, if the eyes are blind, one can enter, fall inside a gutter. One can wound oneself. One can't pass along the road because there may be a danger of being hit by a vehicle. The eyes are very important and should be protected. This is the reason why whenever people are, are, are beginning to have problems of the eyes, they go to take some medications, they go to the hospital to receive some treatments in order to retain their sight. Uh, blindness is not something so beautiful, it's not something that anybody will, will accept so easily. The plight of the blind man is not something to write home about. So this man was earnestly in need of his sight. He prayed that he will encounter Jesus. And the very day that Jesus was passing, this man listened and heard the noise of many people and he asked who is that what is happening they said that is Jesus this man started shouting and calling upon Jesus uh, there is something very important here most often when you are seeking for something that is very important to you being that you are the one wearing the shoe you know where it pinches you there there, there are likely to be obstacles towards that goal but persistence will achieve the goal for you. The faith of this man made him to continue to cry aloud. And Jesus stopped and the conversation started. My dear good friends, what about spiritual blindness? Many today suffer from spiritual blindness without knowing it. And it is through this conversation, through this homily, through this reflection that we come to do a kind of 
assessment, stop taking, reflection to know whether we are spiritually blind. Spiritual blindness I'm talking about is not a matter of being able to see what will happen in the future, being able to see uh, the message of God and then be able to uh, proclaim that this will happen next two years or next ten years. This is not what I'm talking about. Spiritual blindness could be likened to a person who has a spiritual need of God's love without knowing that he has this need. It could be a person who is living outside the love of Christ but thinking that he's living the life according to God's will. The life of pride is a life of spiritual blindness because it is difficult to correct a, pr a pride person, a proud person, difficult. He or she is always right. Nobody should tell me I know what I'm doing. The person that is proud is suffering from spiritual blindness. The person that is full of himself or herself, ego, 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 most often, he who is suffering from ego do not know it. And all these things tie spirituality to stand at a stair, at a point without growing. He who has the tendency to gossip about, gossip without controlling the tongue, this is a spiritual blindness because the person can't see the bad effect of, of gossip, gossiping. The person cannot see the blind effect of it. Because this lifestyle of criticizing, blindly gossiping against people creates division, lack of love, and destroys everything. So we need to ask Jesus today, Lord Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. In the conversation, what do you want? me to do for you. It is good for us to request from Jesus that we might see again. That we might see again spiritually entails focusing on growth, spiritual growth. Focusing on growth on the love of God. Focusing on growth on our faith focusing on growth, on patience, focusing on the ability to pray mea copa, mea copa, mea mazima copa, asking for God's mercy. It is good for us to ask God to open our spiritual eyes so that we know when we are drifting away from his love. It is good for us to ask for this spiritual healing of the eyes, our, our spiritual eyes, so that we will be able to continue to see the love of God in others. When we see the love of God in others, we will be able to treat others as Jesus will treat us. My dear good friends, I pray that the good Lord will hear our voice and grant us healing that we might see his love. Peace be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday.